more to go, all right? A little more to go. You got this. I got you. All right. A little more to go for him. Save, save it, man. Don't get to work. Back up around the damn cone. Oh yeah, I know. We just, I just started going to his school. Mm -hmm. What is it called? Georgia? Georgia State. Georgia, Georgia State. State. Yeah. She goes to Georgia State. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. You need to get some rest, Dre. You, know you got class in the morning. Oh, I see. Okay. Appreciate you. It's like three in the morning. Yeah. All right, Miss Vanessa. Okay. Bye. He's a big dude. He like being in charge. He in charge of me. Yeah, yeah, he's scary coming up like that. Well, I, would that I would protect you though. And you said you didn't have anything tomorrow. Don't worry about it. What's your son about? It is getting kind of late. We didn't think it Yeah. It's been that late, No. Bye. It's 3 a.m. on top of jazz with that homework. What? She don't do nothing. That's my daughter. <laughs> <laughs> How did they work? It was good. No long, but good day's work. Uh, okay. Look, I know it ain't much, but I'll give you mm -hmm. something tomorrow. Nah, you good for it. 
Just make sure you don't forget about me when you move to that mansion, you know? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm serious, though. No, all your hard work gonna pay off. That's the motive. Look, I know I'm saying much, but I really appreciate you babysitting Jasmine. I mean, coming over and helping her with her homework and bringing Mandy over to play with her. She appreciates you too. You mean a lot to us. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, go get Mandy. Yeah. Charles them go to sleep. Plus you gotta go to school in the morning, so come on. Come on, sweetie. Y'all had fun, didn't you? Yeah. Tell Mr. Charles bye. Bye. Good night, Mandy. Tomorrow night? Tomorrow night. Mm -hmm. Good night. this time. All your friends in your class are gonna be jealous. They're gonna be asking you who did your hair. What you gonna tell them? My daddy did it. That's right. Ha <laughs> ha. Pops will get you right. But they can't get your hairstyle. Only Jazz will get this one, all right? Okay. Yeah, it look good, don't it? Yep. I told you, Dad, a professional. No. You don't think so? I think I'm a professional. I can get a job on the weekends doing that. You don't think so? No. Man, you're just a hater. That's all. If you don't look good, why you keep looking in the mirror? It's, uh, I... <laughs> go get ready for school. say how we act in school is a reflection of what we're taught at home. I know. And what are you taught at home? Discipline, respect, and promptness. That's right. And you know daddy loves you, right? Yes. You know daddy loves you more than anything in the world? More than pizza? Of course, more than pizza. I don't know, dad. You really love pizza. Whatever. You just have a good day in school, all right? We can't go without our secret handshake, though. <sighs> yeah, that's right. Hi, Daddy. I love you. Love you too. Hello. Um, may I speak with Miss or Mr. Kilgore, please? Yeah, this is Mr. Kilgore. Mr. Kilgore, my name is Mrs. Dublin over at West Creek Elementary School. I'm Jasmine's teacher. Hey man, is everything okay? Yes, for the most part. However, I would like to set up a parent-teacher conference with you in regards to her behavior. Okay, I'll be there as soon as possible. Thank you.
Hey, 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 I just got a call from my, my daughter's teacher. I got to leave right here because of emergency. I, can I please go out? Listen, stop, stop. It's okay. It's okay. Listen, I wasn't always the boss, right? Hey, listen, I, I don't know how I'm going to repay you, but I promise I'm going to repay you. I, I just got to go this Charles, one time. Charles, 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 you. you don't have to repay me with nothing. It's all right, man. Listen, I'm not like the rest of these folk around here. I understand. I'm a father, too, and a husband. Okay? And I know you. You do good work, man. Appreciate it. It's good. Thank you. Listen, man. Family comes first, always. All right. All right. I got you. I got you. All right. I, got you. I know you do, man. I know you do. Mrs. Double? Mr. Kilgore? Yeah, you can call me Charles. Okay, Charles. Nice to meet you. All right. I got to get back to work. I don't mean to rush you, so. Can you get this thing started? Sure. Have a seat. What's this I hear about Jasmine's behavior? Well, she's been very inconsistent lately. She's usually just fine. However, lately it's like she's restless. As she doesn't want to participate in class, and when she does, she throws temper tantrums and... and don't and you worry about it, okay? I'll handle that as soon as I get home tomorrow. Well, okay, look, I don't want to get her in trouble because she's, she's a great student the majority of the time, but I would like to discuss maybe what the cause of this could be. I'm listening. Okay, well, I've seen it before, and most of the time when kids act out like this, it stems from not enough affection or attention. Mm -hmm. Negative. My daughter gets all the love and attention she needs. Mm. Okay, well, maybe you should try spending more time with her. Uh, most of the time, kids want to see their dads just as much as their mothers. Well, since you know so much, Mrs. Doubler, why in the hell don't you know that there is no Mrs. Kilgore? Jasmine's mother passed away when she was nine months old. I'm sorry, I didn't know that. I apologize. No apology needed. You just think about that the next time you pass judgment on someone's life. Oh, I didn't mean to pass judgment, Charles. It's just maybe I suggested maybe you could spend more time with her. That's all. Look, I, I know that we can't control everything out there, but time, time is something we can control. Control? You want to talk to me about control? There's not much we can control in this world. If there was, I would have controlled that drunk driver that ran us off the road that Sunday. I would have controlled Patrice and Jasmine even taking me back to school. I would have caught the bus. And I damn sure would have controlled my daughter being in the car when her mother passed away. Well, look, I understand heartache, Mr. Kilgore. I do. I faced it as well. well. You sure don't act like it. For someone who's experienced heartache, you should pass judgment quickly. Now, I may be a lot of things, but a bad father isn't one. That evening when we lost Jasper's mother, I dropped out of college to take care of my daughter. Because I didn't have a mother or a grandmother to pick up the slack for me. I had to stand up and be a man. Now, Jasper may not see me as much as I like her to, because I'm busy working three jobs, trying to take care of my daughter legally. Right. I apologize. You have a blessed day, Mrs. Double. Well, Greg, man, I apologize for being late, bro. I had to go to my daughter's school, man, to be with her teacher. It was crazy. You understand, though, man. I, I get to work. I know, I know we backed up. You done? Yeah. You fight. What? Look, man, you laid here every day. I cannot continue to excuse your tardiness. Come on, man. You know I need this job. What do you want me to do? You want the job, I want workers. You're not here, leaves me with a void. I can't work with voids. Can't do it. Excuse yourself with my car wash and take your funky attitude with you. Hey, Mr. Belmont. Yeah, it's Charles Kilgore. I, I helped you with your car a couple weeks ago. Yes, sir. Well, uh, I kept your business card, and I was wondering if you guys were hiring. Oh, 
Okay, okay. Tomorrow at 2 o'clock? All right, I'll see you then. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Right, yes, he's expecting you. If you just want to take a seat, he'll be with you momentarily. Right, thank you. Sure. Um, can I get you some water or anything? Uh, no, ma'am, I'm fine. Thank you. Sure. Nice to see you again, Charles. I don't know. Go ahead, have a seat. Thank you for having me. No problem. So you're looking for a job, huh? Yes, sir, I am. Well, I think I may be able to help you out with that. Our janitorial division is hiring, and you were actually the first people I No disrespect, Mr. Belmont, but I've been cleaning bathrooms and scrubbing floors for the past five years, and that's not why I'm here. Mm -hmm. I'm here because I know this company can change my life if I'm given the opportunity to work directly for you. Mr. Kriegel, I admire your eager attitude, but we are a medical devices sales company, and we require a bachelor's degree, and in, in most cases, a master's, and... Uh, Listen, I, I understand all of that, but once I learn this system, once I learn the company and how it operates, I guarantee you I will outsell every one of your employees, bachelor's or master's degree. I was three and a half semesters away from graduating with a bachelor's myself before my fiance's tragic accident. The only thing that kept me from that degree was the well-being of my daughter. And that's exactly why I'm here today, because my daughter needs me just as bad as I need this opportunity. Now, you can measure their resume, but you can't measure my heart, my drive, and my effort. I give you my word, if things aren't panning out within a month, you can fire me on the spot. I think I might be able to work something out for you, Charles. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Bearmont. Yeah, okay. mm -hmm. Proud, all right? Yeah, yeah. You better. All right. Have a good day, Charles. Thank you. I think we got a banger, a banger, sounding like a national anthem. Ambitions of a young king. Chillin', chillin'. Just wanna holler at you about a few things. Uh, I got a few minutes. You know, uh, I took your advice on the stuff that you talked about, you know, making a change, <laughs> finish your school, staying out the streets. Okay, you know, this music my ears. Yeah, yeah. Like I've been trying to tell you, man, education is key. Cause you don't wanna be working hard like me when you get 28 or 29. Yeah, that's true, that's true. Besides, you ain't gotta worry about looking over your shoulder now. Yeah. You can look down at those books. Right. I'm proud of you. I'm going to get to these books right now. Yes, sir. That's right. Ah, see, hey. I'm not rich. I'm sure you're not. I'm not reading. It's reading. You put math. Oh my I put reading and math. It's only read. Oh. <laughs> oh Is this homework? You have to do homework a different oh, okay. way. Yep. I was good too. Oh, I mean, you get a pizza too. <laughs> Come give me a hug. Come here. You want to give us a chance, huh? Alright, y'all go eat pizza. Hey. 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 Starting a new set. Oh, I'm so excited for you! <laughs> the hard work finally paying off. I know. Look at you. Uh, <laughs> Jeff Hart Road. Oh. Chase! <laughs> I think it is. Oh. 
Ja. I need my money, Dre. I'm tired of talking about this shit, bro. I need my money, Dre. Look, you know me, man. Just give me a few days. Just give me a few days. A few days? I don't got a few days. I need my shit now, man. Did I give you a few days when I gave you that work? Okay, okay, look, just give me two days. You know me, man. Come on. We've been doing this for a long time. Look, if you don't find my money tonight, it's gonna be a fucking problem, bro. Where well, I'm gonna get the money from, man? I don't know where I'm gonna get it. What the fuck, man? Damn! I need my money, bro. Damn, bro, it ain't that serious, man. Look, look, this well, ain't look, got nothing to do with you, dog. Whatever he owe you, I got you. Just come in tomorrow, all right? This between me and Mr. Andre. Yeah, Mr. College Boy. Get the fuck out of the way, wait. Come on, man. You good, bro. I got you. He ain't got no fucking way if I don't get my money. Straight up. Come on, Trey. Chill, man. Trey, chill. Chill, bro. Come on, man. Y'all gotta chill. What's up? What's up? Fuck out the way. Fuck off. Oh, come on, Trey. Somebody help me. Somebody help I'm good now, bro. I'm good. I'm good, bro. You good, bro? You good. Somebody help me, man. Come on, Trey. Yo. Come on, man. You got class I'm supposed to go to class, bro. Yeah, you got class. You got class. I'm supposed to go to class, bro. I'm supposed to go to class, bro. You gotta go to class, bro. You gotta go to school, all right? I'm supposed to go shopping my mom and my mom. Somebody help me. Somebody help me. Somebody help me. Somebody help me. Come on, man. Oh, my God. Somebody just got shot. We in Lakewood Apartments. He's got on a green shirt, he's bald headed, and he's wearing. What's going on, Daddy? Yes, sir. Listen, where's Miss Chris? In the back. I need you to go to the back. I need you to tell Miss Chris to call 911, okay? What's wrong? Listen, I, one of Daddy's friends got us in trouble, okay? I need you to remember, no matter what happens. I you know I love you, alright? Go tell Miss Chris. Just keep the girls in the house and call the cops. Charles Kilgore. Come on, man. I ain't do it, man. Listen. Don't do it. Come on, officer. You gotta hear me out. You gotta hear me out, man. Listen. Listen, Andre's like a brother to me, man. I'm like a mentor to him, man. What's it be, man? Some dude out there, man. Mr. Gilgore, you under arrest for the murder of Andre White. Just out there, do with your hands behind you, man. Come on, yeah, officer. Around. Come on, man. Oh, Charles! Don't move. Stay there. Don't move. It's okay. Don't move. It's okay. He ain't do nothing. Shut up. Stay back. Come on, man. I ain't do nothing, man. You gotta listen don't to me. Don't move. Come on, man. Man, I'm turning like my brother, man. I ain't do nothing, man. Come on, man. You gotta hit me no. out, officer. You gotta hit me out. Get up. Come on, man. Let him go. Take that girl. I'll be back. Daddy. It's okay, girl. Don't look. Don't look. Don't look. So proud of you. 
not yet, but he will be. We have oh. to celebrate. Come on. Dinner on me. Dinner on me. You can't say no to I'm that. Dead. A lot of late nights I stayed up all alone Thinking and contemplating Life decisions on my mind Strategizing to get it So I can put on for my village I'm trying to reach the masses Let my voice shake the pyramids As my vibrations are running through your cerebrum Feel the spirit in my body While you're vibing to this intro Let me pause for a second Yeah At the round table pin Decisive in this life, you better have a plan. One game, one shot, one second. Every day your life is on the line, it's no rewind. What? Intro is a classic and it's passion straight from Bama. Yeah. I'm trying to reach your soul on each and every verse. The pain in my voice is setting off.